Hello everyone, my name is Arturo Rivera, I'm the principal at Natsenberg Elementary School. Our quarter three IPR will be presented by our grade levels. You will see K through fifth in sequence. Have a great day. Based on the ELA SMART goal, the team focused on strengthening tier one instruction. Kinder students increased compre comprehension and phonics skills based by 10% based on the interim two and interim three data. We believe the increase in phonics skills is due to the implementation of Hegarty, and we believe the increase in comp comprehension is due to planning together and increasing the rigor of our questions. Our areas to improve are in vocabulary and using multiple meaning words because many students were only able to identify the common meaning of a word using our interim data. Our team is focusing on using various strategies to identify unfamiliar words. The SMART goal for math is to ensure all instruction is based on the common core standards. The claim is students have a higher mastery of T numbers this year based on the assessment. There was a 10% increase. We think this is due to unpacking, focused collaboration, and shared resources. One area that students need to improve in is verbalizing their thinking of breaking apart team numbers. The question regarding this was the most frequently missed, and we, we believe that this was due to students being able to verbalize the process of, of not being able to verbalize the process of decomposing team numbers. And our areas of success um, that we feel is most important has been the backwards planning as a team. We feel that collaborating and working together to examine the data has really made a huge impact. And of course, our um, kinder aid support has made a significant impact on applying interventions in a variety of different things that we've needed. And of course, the barriers and challenging uh, challenges that we're experiencing are the lack of professional development for ELA and math, and then not having the opportunities to have the ISSs to come and specifically unpack with the teams, which has forced us to learn a lot on, on our own. But obviously, we've done a really good job, so we're really thankful for that. When we looked at our ELA data for the current school year, we noted a significant increase in students' writing proficiency from Unit 3 to Unit 5. We believe that this is because we supplemented the school's ELA materials with some foundational writing resources. This helped fill in gaps we noticed in their writing. We also spent more time on the assessed writing genre. When looking at that same data, we noticed that the writing proficiency decreased from Unit 5 to Unit 6. We feel this could be due to the amount of time spent on the assessed writing genre. These scores show that students benefit from more time and exposure in a particular genre rather than bouncing around from genre to genre each week. When looking at areas of growth, growth for math, we noticed that there were 91% of students who were at the meeting or above. This is because we taught the skills on a daily basis through calendar math and daily routine, which set the foundation for Unit 5. In areas of improvement for math, there are a good amount of students that were in the approaching or beginning band. When looking at this information, we are going to now focus more on the foundational skills for these students so that we are strengthening their needs for future skills. We have felt success in the area of math, specifically in students' number sense and their ability to take apart and put together numbers. A barrier that we faced in our teaching and the students' learning was in writing. We focused on opinion writing for six weeks and saw substantial improvement. Once we switched to narrative writing and focused on it for only three weeks, we observed that our students were not able to make that same amount of progress. This is our second grade quarter three share up. For ELA growth, we observed improvements in our students' reading comprehension and grammar phonics skills. We believe this was due to effective small group instruction and multiple opportunities for mastery of the grammar phonics skill. Areas to improve ELA. Students who score in the approaching standard need to improve developing their writing responses and practice test taking strategies. We found that from Unit 3, Week 3 to Unit 6, Week 3, the data shows inconsistencies with students who are at the beginning and approaching standard. Second grade as a whole requires additional support in small and whole group reteaching to address test taking strategies and modeling well developed writing responses. In math, second grade teachers continue to use strategic grouping to support students. We believe that the success of Unit 5 was achieved by the use of engaging lessons, hands-on opportunities, and discussions of student misconceptions and intervention strategies to address those needs. For areas to improve math, we have found that automaticity in math facts hinders accuracy and comprehension, leading to more mistakes. 
We saw evidence of this phenomenon throughout formal and informal assessments from unit three to six. We believe that student growth will increase with parent support and more independent practice in basic addition and subtraction math facts. In our areas of success, we noticed our students continue to show growth in both math and reading. Our second science interim also showed success for our students. In our barriers and challenges, we believe if given more time in between units, we would be able to provide better inter intervention support for our struggling learners. The shift mid-year from comprehension to grammar had us comparing two different types of data, so it does not show a true picture of their growth or needs. In third grade, students have improved in the area of ELA, in the area of writing, grammar, and spelling. The evidence of this is from the beginning of the year writing sample as compared to the middle of the year writing sample. Our reasoning is we use the backwards design and we really introduce the writing process with tier one and tier two interventions, focusing on writing when assessing. Areas that we need to improve on in um, ELA are reading comprehension, specifically the main idea and key details. Evidence of this in third grade is the percent of interim two to interim or unit three went down 5%. Um, some reasoning, reading and manipulating the testing program, uh, a lack of typing skills, reading support on programs like Read 180 and Reading Counts are some areas that would, for this reason. Some areas of growth for math, the third grade team used tier two interventions within the classroom. And the evidence of this is the third grade achieved the SMART goal of 80% of students meeting the standard as seen on interim three. The reason for this was the math coach um, made some review slides for intense math reviews of units four and five. And students also did not have to write any responses. It was all just answering the question. Um, areas to prove on, improve on in math, our students need more practice with word problems and written responses. The evidence is there were no written responses inter on interim three, so they excelled on that exam. And some reasoning is students continue to struggle to explain their thinking as seen on SEPAs and unit assessments. Areas of success, students really did overall well with their understanding of area perimeter and fractions. Students progressed in the area of writing and grammar. Barriers and challenges, reading comprehension and multi-step responses to the interim test questions. Strategies used by benchmarks such as highlighting or underlining can be used on the benchmark assessment, but these tools are not found available on the interim. By the end of the school year, we will have 80% of students beating exceeding standards on the DCAS. Students are improving their writing skills. Students are scoring higher on organization and writing flow. We're using the writing process in three weeks to polish our writings, a full unit. Students need to use their writing skills from class and transition those skills to interim two. Students do not perform well in writing when it comes to the interims. Students are barely writing and making many errors. In the ELA interim two, fourth grade is at 12% meeting expectations. They need to use their time and they need to need the endurance when writing. Topics may not be of interest. When using Google Docs, they can see corrections and can left click to fix errors that they are not able to do in the interims. By the end of the school year, our district will have 80% of students meeting or exceeding the standards. We will implement CCR standard based instruction with instructional strategies aligned with mathematical teaching practices number two, number four, and number five. There was a significant increase in growth between unit four and five unit tests for all three fourth grade classes. In term three seems to follow the trends with the unit questions. 78% of all fourth graders are meeting math proficiency. We believe the increased scores from the unit five assessment are a direct result of extended teaching times, more opportunity for practice and backwards designing with increased emphasis on test questions. Students struggle with multi-step higher level math problems. Doing item analysis of interims, we can see that students have on concrete problem solving skills down and can solve using algorithms. It's when we get to complex text vocabulary multi-steps that they struggle. Students rush to be done and do not fully show their work and explain answers. Students are low, have lower reading levels and do not understand what the problem is asking. Growth came from backwards design. We came, we came back and looked at the standards and focused on those intensively for two to three weeks. They have not yet mastered the developed stamina during the interim assessments to work through each problem. Many students have difficulty comprehending word problems due to lower reading levels. Here is our SMART goal for ELA. 
Here are the areas of growth for ELA. Here are the areas that we decided we needed to improve in in ELA. Our SMART goal for math. Our areas of growth for math. And our areas to improve in math. Despite the many barriers our team has encountered, such as a lack of adequate ELA resources and support, our classroom sizes, and SPED staff shortages, we have cause to celebrate. We are very pleased that our students showed growth as noted with meeting our district and building goal of 80% proficiency on our interim three math assessment, as well as our unit assessments. As a team, we are proud of our cohesiveness to meet the rigor required for success, as well as our backwards design of each subject area.